is up y'all welcome back to another shoe cleaning video and today we're gonna be restoring these ultra beat nike air max theas not gonna lie i already cleaned the shoes i forgot to record an intro for it but yeah y'all are in for a good one so let's get right in all right y'all so the first thing we're gonna need is some water um all right now that we got our water next thing we're gonna need is our cleaning supplies now i use the goat the goat vault cleaning kit um, it's kind of a dirty box, but yeah, this is what we're working with. As you can see, this is what comes in it. Um, this is all we're going to be needing for right now, along with our soft bristle brush and our towel. The other thing we're going to be using is the hard and medium bristle two-in-one brush. I'm going to take these shoes and put the left one over for before and after purposes. Now, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is get our cleaning solution and we wanna apply it to the brush, not the water. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is obviously delace the shoe. Now that we're done with that, we're gonna wanna take our brush, add some cleaning solution to it and then dip it in our water. Then we're just gonna wanna knock off all the excess dirt. Now that it's all scrubbed down, we're gonna take our towel and just wipe it off. Just from that little scrub, he's already looking a thousand times better, but we're not done. Next, I'm gonna remove the insoles. The next thing I'm gonna do is scrub the insoles. Then, wipe them down. Are done. Now we're going to focus on the bottom of the shoe. For the bottom of the shoe, you're going to want to use your hard bristle brush. Once again, add the cleaning solution and dip it. Now that's all loosened up, we're just going to go run it underwater. I know that the bottoms are done. We're going to be working on the uppers. Now, the uppers are pretty clean from that initial scrub. They could be cleaner. And for like these kind of areas, you want to use your soft bristle brush or else it's going to really start fraying up. So now I'm going to apply the cleaning solution to my soft bristle brush and dip it in the water and start scrubbing. I just realized in the middle of scrubbing that I forgot to put in my shoe tree, so obviously we're gonna wanna do that to norm really keep the shoe sturdy. Normally it's for decreasing, but in this case, not many creases in the shoe considering it's fabric. It's mostly just for keeping the shoe sturdy. Now it's in there, you can see the shoe really has a full shape in it and we can start scrubbing a lot easier. <laughs> Now that the toe box is really scrubbed down, we're gonna wanna take our towel and wipe off all the suds. Now as you can see, it's a lot cleaner on the toe box. Now we're gonna move to the heel. Now the heel, it's normally, it's mostly the bottom of this, so we're gonna be using our medium bristle brush. Next thing I like to do is kind of take some Q-tips and get into this part of the shoe. Now we're going to do this part of the heel where we have to use the soft bristle brush. Now 
these shoes are looking a thousand times better before. Now we just gotta clean the insides of the shoe. So now we gotta take out the shoe tree and scrub. Now, inside of the shoe, a lot cleaner on the outsides. I think it's time to put back the insole. Now that the insole has been placed back in, it's time to scrub down the tongue. That should be about it. Let me just kind of get a little bit more of the deep, deep clean areas where there's like a little bit of dirt left and I'll be right back. I'm done with that. I'm done lacing them up. And most importantly, they're all clean. Now I'm about to put some before and after pictures up on the screen and then clean this other shoe. <laughs> 